Hi, this is Dave Herman with Salt Lake City Fire Department. In this quick video, I will show you how to enter hydrant inspections using uh, either your Toughbook or a station computer. Today's date is April 4th, 2016. So to uh, enter hydrant inspections in this way, what you need to do is just uh, go to the Fire Home website and uh, click on the hydrants hyperlink up here at the very top of the screen. Uh, what that's going to do is take you to the new uh, beta test um, Fire Home website that will be released fairly soon. Uh, from here what we have are some uh, training videos for both tablet and uh, desktop and Toughbook. Uh, some quick links, uh, basically uh, the Hydrant Work Order Report if you need to uh, put in a work order. Uh, the hydrant, uh, Private Hydrant Inspection Release. Uh, but this is where you'll click to go ahead and uh, enter a hydrant inspection. So by default, what it's going to do is uh, take you to uh, this map here, which shows all of the inspection districts and sub-districts. If you happen to be out in the field, you can go ahead and try hitting this button over here. And what that will attempt to do is uh, geocode your location. Um, and let's go ahead and see how well this one did inside the building. Actually, it did pretty well right here at the Public Safety Building. From here, simply uh, select the hydrant that you're in the process of inspecting by clicking on it. And come down here to this Edit Hyperlink. When you do that, what will appear on the right-hand side of the screen um, is this kind of edit box, but this is kind of what you're uh, going to update right here. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is uh, inspected. I'm going to go ahead and enter the date of inspection. In this case, um, it was already entered, but most of the time it'll be blank. And then um, that's pretty much it. Those are the only two mandatory pieces of information. Uh, the rest of this here is just uh, for um, your uh, info. Um, when you're done, uh, basically all you want to go ahead and do is just uh, close out this window right here, and then it's basically completed at that point in time. You'll notice um, that what happened is the hydrant changed from a um, uh, red color, or a hydrant symbol actually, to this circle. And you'll notice that all of my information is saved inside of there once I did that. Uh, once you've completed a um, hydrant inspection, uh, you'll notice we have a couple of hyperlinks here at the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, number one, if you need to do a work order for that hydrant, just go ahead and click on this uh, hyperlink. Uh, the other one available to you is the uh, private hydrant release. If you are doing an inspection of a private hydrant, uh, go ahead and have the customer uh, uh, actually fill out this form and have the customer go ahead and sign indicating they give authorization for you to do that. Um, that's pretty much it. It's a fairly simple system to utilize. Uh, feel free to give me a call if you have any questions. I'm at area code 801-664-3664. Thanks.